Welcome to Talking Baseball with Brian Stoll and Jason Simontacci, exclusively on 101sports.com. Welcome back to 101sports.com with Jason Simontacci. I'm Brian Stoll. Time for another edition of Talking Baseball. And the Cardinals heading to Milwaukee, a big series. The uh, Brewers, a lot of people at the beginning of the year thought this would be a team in contention. They kind of had some ups and downs, but right now they're on a big up. There's no doubt about it. I think uh, they've got 21 wins in the last 28 games. Uh, slowly but surely been creeping up in the standings. They're two games, I think, are a game and a half behind the Cardinals. Uh, you talk about exciting year for the Cardinals. A lot of guys chipping in left and right, winning ball games, pitching real well. Uh, and now here we go again going into this weekend with, uh, against the um, Brewers. Yeah, Zach Ranky is rolling now. He had some injury issues, missed some time. Sean Markham, a lot of people, I know you mentioned him being excited at the beginning of the year, but it seems that maybe there's a little bit of an attitude shift in Milwaukee as well. They're, they're no longer untucking the shirts when they win. No, I think they've grown up. I think they've gotten to the point where they realize, oh, wow, we had one great season, and they got nothing to show for it except their shirts are untucked. <laughs> so I think they realize they got to do a little bit more out there. They need to finish, uh, finish the game, get to the postseason. Um, it, it's all about winning a ring. And uh, they realize that I think they've grown up in the last couple of years. And they're starting to come together as a team. They're celebrating, yes, but they're doing it uh, respectively. Yeah, and even though he's uh, now leading the National League in all-star balloting, Ryan Braun probably still not getting as much attention as he deserves. This is one of the elite players in the game right now. There's no doubt. I think he also, sn not really snuck up, but you know he's, he's got, starting to get some uh, points where people are starting to recognize him throughout the nation. Uh, like you said, um, he's leading in points. He's also, I think, in the top 13 in Major League Baseball with RBIs. Uh, with, his, with Prince obviously being number one, um, but he's exciting. Uh, he, he, he has a strong arm, throwing guys out from the outfield, as well as steal some bases. Um, but uh, I think this weekend series is going to be something special. Yeah, and you mentioned Prince Fielder. How, do, how much do you think both Prince Fielder and Albert Pujols are going to enjoy this? Because both of those <laughs> guys are going to be getting seriously paid at the end of the season. There's so. no doubt. Who knows? I mean, it, it's, uh, they might, you know what? They might get the 32nd team in the, or 31st team in the major leagues. They could probably buy one. <laughs> they probably could. <laughs> well, they could definitely handle the payrolls of a couple well, of teams. That's so. what I'm saying. I mean, it's, it's impressive. Uh, some of these guys, are, I mean, who knows? Uh, I think it cost $390 million for the Bush Stadium, and they're talking about throwing out $300 million to pool hole, so pretty scary thought. Just going to call him partner. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> just, he and Mr. DeWitt, just going to be partners. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, this is my partner, Jason Simon Tatchy. I'm Brian Stull. This has been Talking Baseball on 101sports.com for 101 ESPN.